Hi everyone, in the last video we have learned how to use Ansible in Playbook, how to pass the variable externally using the words files, then also you learn how to use the host words and group words. In this video we will learn something uh, more important one and this is called the variable arrays. So variable arrays are very useful when you have more related or relevant variables inside your playbook and uh, you don't want to keep uh, in the non-standard way. Okay, let's create okay words uh, 2.yaml and we have a variable called user1 to create so user1 then first name is okay, John then user sorry I have to use user1 user one underscore last name equal to something like um, Smith then user one uh, something like okay designation designation is um, admin then maybe some other fields like a user one underscore uh, location London okay so these are details for the user one let's say I have another user called user two with the same almost same details like John uh, instead of John okay Linda then user2 underscore last name we call um, Mary something like this for example user2 underscore designation um, operator for example and user user to underscore location new york okay so this is uh, very simple when we have new user i mean we have few, very few users like two or three what if you have more and more users and more and more parameters like uh, user phone number user email a lot of, something like example so it's not it's not it's possible but it's not the right way to do the things so you can uh, use a kind of a list and dictionaries in ansible so um, here we have individual variables called user one then we have a user two with a lot of uh, sub items so we are going to rewrite these uh, variables into a single variable kind of a dictionary okay so what you have to do so i am going to use the same file like okay we have users so this is a call this is a variable for name users then I have this I don't need the user anymore I put first name okay before that I need to mention what is this user so I use okay this is John user John and remaining items are under the John okay so what I have to do first name last name location looks nice right so you have a main uh, users variable then under that we have a john that's one one key then we have a um, sub uh, items key pairs like a first name john last name smith like that and we have the same here here i put linda so I have uh, other details for Linda. First name is Linda. Last name is Mary. Then designation. Please, uh, please observe the indentation carefully. So you know this is a main key. This is sub keys, and we have other keys like that. Okay, same like the YAML index. But yeah, you remember this. So this is kind of additionally now. What we have to do we will create a playbook a uh, symbol one new user dot yaml here i put create users uh, create users so i want to create users host i want to use nodes then task Okay, I want to do the become true task. Okay, first I want to list it before I am creating. I want to show you. Okay, so I am using the module um, 
called show users. So here I use the debug module to list it. Then I want to list the more user variable. Hope, uh, if you have any question on this variable, please watch the variables video if you don't understand what is happening. Okay. And uh, we missed to include the variable file here. So we can use wars underscore files and we call Oh, what was the name? I forgot. Sorry. Wars2. Wars2.yaml. So we are including this variable inside the playbook and calling this one. Okay. Ansible. Playbook. Users.yaml. Okay. Good. Uh, it's running. It's not, it's not, I mean, nothing happening, but uh, you can see on node 1 and node 2. It's just listing only so you can see the you can clearly see the content of the variable okay good now we want to create users with this specific uh, item uh, id and uh, value so like i just i just want to use uh, john's first name or john's last name or location how to access this this is very simple in ansible so you can use the key based calling like this so what you will do inside our users dot uh, instead of the users this is a loop right so i have to go through this list so instead of um, uh, calling the end one let's say i want to create only the user one john one so i use users then i call users of who let's say i want to use john and his first name okay we try this here see so it will fetch only the john dot first name you can also write this uh, something like uh, something like users dot john dot um first name but this is not recommended because uh, sometimes you have uh, some variables or content with um, uh, spaces or something like that so this is the safest way uh, you can practice this if possible so we will you can try this one also Still it will work I try to avoid this uh, so that's it for the array variables or variable arrays in the ansible so you will learn more about this kind of dictionary variables registered variables every those kind of items in the coming uh, videos if you want to know more about the variable arrays like uh, what kind of variables or what, what type of variables you can use inside variable refer the documentation so you have simple variables you have um, list variables we already see the list variables and also the dictionary variables we have tried now so this is the dictionary variables like uh, we have the main key sub keys uh, like that so you have the detailed documentation inside the documentation portal refer that and if you have any question ask in the comment box and um, please see the full playbook uh, link inside the video's description and subscribe to this channel for getting more and more videos thank you for watching see you next time with another video and thank you